John Silcock. Two to go, the slowest goes first, and that is Manuri with Steve Murphy. Okay, again, Steve needs to put pressure on Marty here. It is a good, clean run, set a good, strong time, and make Marty go up there and better it. Well, we've been saying it all through the commentary. He's the defending champion. He couldn't break the minute last year. This is his last chance to do it here in 2005. Up the Mount Grey Road he comes, the most famous. 1.7 kilometres in New Zealand rally sprinting history. And he was a little bit wide back there, Phil, and oh, heck, he's wide again. That's going to cost him. Well, he's maybe he's succumbed to a bit of pressure here, Ross. It would look, it would seem so. He's the one trying to put the pressure on Marty, but it seems the pressure's gone on him too much. Well, I guess it comes down to experience. Uh, Steve is a, a part-time racer at best. He built this car especially for this event and events like it, and that's really all he does in it. So, no taking it away from me. He drives it brilliantly, but I don't think he's going to be quick enough to beat Marty Rostenberg. The clock will tell the story, though, as he comes down, heading down towards the finish line now. Will he break the magic minute? He does! So he gets a minor victory anyway, 59-67, and it may be not a minor victory because Marty Rostenberg's yet to run, and we've seen it before. You can have troubles when you least expect them. That time certainly enough to put some pressure on Marty. Steve, you've cracked the uh, minute 59, so under one minute 59 seconds. So uh, you're happy with that? Is that enough to put the psych on him? Yeah, I don't know whether he's uh, going to beat that one or not, but um, I think, yeah, we'll never know, won't we? So the last run of the day, Marty Rosenberg has had a smile on his face. World's fastest Maori.co.nz it says on his visor, and who would argue with the man? Yeah, Marty, Marty's just got to try and keep this reasonably clean now. He knows he can do better that time that Steve's put down, but one wide corner like he did at the hairpin last time. And it could be Steve's win. Well, the thing that Marty, with Marty is he, he always gives it 100%. I think, OK, he's only got to get up there in 59 and change, but I think you might see something special here. Yeah, well, Marty came here wanting to beat uh, the record. He wanted to get down into the 56s if he could. It doesn't look like that'll happen today, but uh, here we go and see how fast he can go. Well, there's only two drivers in the 56s, and one is the late, great Possum Bourne, 56.99, and the record holder is uh, Kim Austin, the late, great Kim Austin, 56.57. We're not going to see a time anywhere like that, but we might see a 58-second run here because this looks fast and it looks smooth. Marty Rustenberg throws the PSD Subaru through the finish line. Well done. I think he's got it. He's got it. Get it, buddy. Get on him. Marty Rostenberg wins the Dunlop Ashley Forest Rally Sprint for 2005. He's been there before. Hard to beat that one. Steve, yeah, not this year, eh? No, no. Would have been good to have two in a row, but yeah, no, it's good luck to Marty. That's an excellent weekend. Well, Marty, you've won the battle. You're smiling from here to here. What have you got to say to us? <laughs> oh, mate, great fun, and I'm glad Murph had a good, safe run, but really delighted for my team and our sponsors that the Subaru came through for us. So Marty Rosenberg puts Dave Lachlan's Subaru Impreza on the top of the table here at Ashley Forest with a 58.99. Steve Murphy breaks the minute with a 59.67 but has to settle for second.